a breaking news right now, an exclusive as well at this point of time. Republic has access 100 page charge sheet. I repeat, Republic has access 100 page charge sheet. 100 page charge sheet filed against Tista Sitalwar, RB Shri Kumar, and Sanjeev Bhatt. There were several documentary proof that was gathered by the SIT according to the evidence. SIT has reason to believe that there was a deep conspiracy of fabricating evidence and framing the then team of Gujarat, Narendra Modi. Big news coming in and Republic has right now access that charge sheet exclusively viewers. We'll give you all the details on the charge sheet because we have all the 100 pages with us and we'll tell you exactly what it says. But what we can tell you is that this 100 page charge sheet has been filed against Tista Sitalwar, R.B. Shri Kumar and Sanjeev Bhatt. In fact, we're also learning at the same time that there were several documentary proofs that was gathered by the SIT. And according to the evidence, SIT has reason to believe that there was a deep conspiracy. I repeat, there was a deep conspiracy of fabricating evidence and framing the then CM of Gujarat, Narendra Modi. So we have all the details with us and we'll tell you all the details. Some of it is that... Uh, the Sanjeev Bhatt and Shri Kumar used to prepare false statements for Tista, who was also believed to have been working with a late Congress leader. So we're getting all these details in that 100-page charge sheet that Republic TV has access. You can clearly see the charge sheet on your screen, viewers. They've accessed the 100-page charge sheet, which is all the details of the conspiracy to frame PM Modi post the rights. Also, we are learning is that the conspiracy was to stop Narendra Modi Politically, which is why false statements and fake affidavits were prepared by these three people by the trial. And the witnesses were not allowed to read the statement and that they were signing and stating during the course of investigation. And it was also written in English, which was not understood by the witness. So we're getting multiple updates right now exclusively here at Republic TV. This is the only channel which has the 100-page chart sheet at this point of time, viewers. In fact, uh, what we are learning from this charge sheet is that there was a conspiracy to mislead the witness into giving false statements during the investigation for the 2002 riot. And we have also learned that, that the two police officers, Shri Kumar and Bhatt, were also involved in pressurizing the witness into giving false. I repeat, they were pressurizing the witnesses in the case into giving false statements. A witness had also revealed that he was told by Shri Kumar to cooperate with Tista. Otherwise, he will be targeted by Muslims and that if you cooperate, we can also take PM Modi down, who was then the CM of Gujarat. Big news coming in. Explosive revelations in this 100-page chart sheet that we have accessed at this point of time, viewers. And we have also known that there were several mail trails that have been found by the authorities between Tista, Shri Kumar and Bhatt. Alright, I'm being joined by Priyanka who will get us all the details. Priyanka, now this is evidence and this charge sheet is extremely explosive and let's take us through exactly what it says. All right, we'll be getting back to Priyanka, who's joining us uh, with all the details, viewers. This is the big news we're getting for you, viewers. And uh, this is exclusive, I repeat, exclusive details only on Republic TV. We have all 100 pages of that chart sheet, 100-page chart sheet filed against T-Star, Sitalwar, R.V. Shri Kumar and Sanjeev Bhatt. And we can tell you that there were several documentary proof that was gathered by the SIT. According, according to the evidence, SIT has reason to believe that there was deep conspiracy of fabricating evidence and framing the then CM of Gujarat, Narendra Modi. And also a lot of mail trails have been found by the authorities between Tista, Shri Kumar and Bhatt. And we can also tell you that uh, this is pointing towards a conspiracy to mislead the witnesses into giving false statements during the investigation for